Chief Executive Officer retired Major Retty Meyer, the man just beneath Chairman of SARU, Professor Clive Thomas, broke his silence and said, the information carried in the press, especially by the PPC operatives, is not factual but dangerously misleading. Mr. Retty Meyer said the unit is very committed to the recovery of government assets, but it's the process to get police to investigate the matter which is taking up the time. We came and found enormous chaos in many of these um, ministries and agencies. And um, apart from the recovery aspect, we have had to play a preventative role also, where um, when you look at the amount of confusion, let's take vehicles that were in some departments, government agencies or government ministries or government departments. When we got here, when, or when the administration took over, there, there was enormous confusion, um, at least in that single area. And so SARU was able to get involved. We were able to work with and between ministries to ensure that people could account for those vehicles that they had and other movable assets. Um, you said confusion and, and chaos. What? What? In give us a little some details. There was no inventory, so that you had vehicles that were assigned to one department, working in other departments, and there was no paper trail to determine how or why those vehicles were sent there. Ratimaya said Saru spent an enormous amount of time working with the ministries to get things back in line. He said the misuse of state assets occurred in most of the regions across the country. Um, in, addition to the, in addition to the ministries and agencies, we have worked with at least, uh, at least nine of the, the regions. The only one we have not really had any contact with uh, in a meaningful way uh, is Region 8. What prevents you from doing your work in Region 8? Well, the, the truth is, um, you have, you have to send in a team and uh, make arrangements to get in there and we've explained some of the difficulties you've had to the um, PS Ministry of Communities. But we have worked with several other regions um, to help them to bring some order to the regional, uh, the equipment within the region and to account for them. We've gone, we've sent men to regions six, five, four, three, two, nine, and ten. In the question that workers in government agencies were discriminated against because of their loyalty to the former government, or if it has hindered him in getting the unit to properly investigate state assets infringement, Reti Meyer said. We believe that quite unlike the nonsense that Barjak Dio talks about and Nandalal talk about, uh, talks about, about which hunting and that sort of thing. There are people who have been and continue to be loyal to the previous administration and they would either not cooperate or they will not do so in an expeditious manner so that what you end up having to do is, is having to work around them and um, that can provide, that can be become obstacles in themselves or at least slow down what we're trying to get done. But we, uh, when this legislation is passed, we intend to be fair, but we intend to be firm. So are you saying that um, there are persons who are still in this government, working with this government, that are loyal to the PPP? Of course. I mean, and it, 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 this should not surprise anyone. Um, I've made an analogy which might be crude, but should, should you know a couple that have been living together for 15, 20 years, and one party should decease. Uh, one person dies this week, and the next person gets married next week. Everybody will find that very, very disturbing because it, they'll assume that something had to be going on before. If I were to take that and swing it over to people who are in the system, there are people who have been loyal to the PP and benefited from that administration for years, and they are not going. They will not switch their loyalties overnight. At the same time, there are people who have been professional, regardless of which party they vote for. They have been professional and will continue to be professional. And those people have been helpful. 